Hello guys, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. This video is part of interesting scenarios in Salesforce series. If you want to watch other videos on Salesforce, do visit the channel. If you have worked with Aura components, you know we can have one component inside another component. So generally, the outer component is called as a parent one and the inner one is called as a child component, right? Also, every component will have init method, which is nothing but the constructor for that particular Aura component, right? So our point of discussion here is if both the components, a parent component and the child component inside application have init method, then which init gets executed first at the time application gets loaded? So is it the parent's init which is executed first or is it the child's init? Right. So uh, let's see this with an actual implementation. So we'll go to our developer console and we'll create two components such that one is inside the another. Right. So create a parent component first. Let's name it parent or CMP. And we'll create a child component also. Okay. I'll name it as child or a component. Now we'll create init method for both of these components. So init Say this inside the controller, we'll name this method as do in it. Let's put an alert over here so that we we'll get to know which of the init is getting executed first. We'll go to child component and create a init method over there also. And we'll have a init handler there in the component file. Let's save these changes. Now let's include our child component inside parent component. Save this. Let's include our parent component inside the application, the our application. Let's save the changes. So what we have done is we have created two components, a parent component and the child component, and we have defined the init method for both of them. Also, we have included the parent component inside the our application. And yeah, we have to change the alert of a child component also so that we can identify its child components alert. So inside child init. Okay, we'll save the changes and we'll preview our application. So let's do it. Let's check which alert gets displayed over here first. Yeah, so it is inside child init. That means whenever an application is there inside that we have parent child component. So child components units will always get executed first before the init of parent component. But suppose I want my parent components in it to be executed first and then the child components in it. So for example, I want to pass some attributes to child component after performing some calculation in my parents init method and that attributes value is used in the child components init method, right? So uh, how we can do that? So it is very easy to handle that. You just have to play with aura if and conditionally load your child component whenever you feel ready to do it. 
okay so let's uh, implement that what i'll do is i'll create an attribute inside a parent component okay so let's say our attribute let's say type equals to boolean default equal to false okay and we'll wrap our child components declaration with aura if okay declaration inside or if now since the default value of this attribute is false that means this component will, won't get render initially now what we'll do is we'll make this attributes value as true inside our parent components init method only after all our calculations are performed and we are ready to execute child components init method okay so we'll go inside parent components init method and here we'll make that attributes value as true so let's make component dot set v dot show child as true let's save this so let's reload our application and let's see which init gets executed first now so you can see a parent components alert is displayed first so parent components init is getting executed and after that once uh, that attribute is made true child component gets uh, rendered and child components init gets executed okay so this is how we can control the uh, order of execution of init methods in uh, aura components right so guys we'll wrap up this video here and in next video we'll discuss some more interesting scenarios we may face at some point in our development so please subscribe to this channel and do not forget to watch next video thank you